now we shall move ahead to the second part of our morning sadhana the swadhyay of the yoga sutras of patanjali we have been doing this swadhyay we are in the 8th week and we will be chanting sutras 38 to 41 we shall chant them two times after which we will look at the meaning of these sutra let us begin swapn nidra dhyana lambanam va yatha bhimata dhyana dva परमाणु परम महत्वान्तोस्य वशीकार क्षीण वृत्तेरभिजात मणिर्ग्रहितृग्रहणग्राह्येशु तत्सदनता सपत्ति स्वप्न निद्रा ज्ञान आलंबन वहामत ध्याना वाणु परम महत्व अंत अस्य वशीकार क्षीण वृत्ते अभिजात मणि ग्रहितृ ग्रहण ग्राह्येशु तत्स्थ तदंजनता सपत्ति गो टू सूत्र इवन टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग सूत्र इज अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सूत्र क्षीण वृत्ते अभिजात मणि ग्रहितृ ग्रहण ग्राह्येशु तत्स्थ तदंजनता सपत्ति क्षीण वृत्ते लिटरली इट मींस दैट when the vrittis have got weakened actually it means a state when the vrittis have almost been eliminated abhijatasya just like a very well polished abhijatasya means well polished eva just like mane he a crystal a well polished crystal grahitru the cognizer the one who cognizes cognates grahana the medium of cognition that is the senses grahyeshu means the object of cognition which is the sense objects tatstha means resting upon tadanjanata takes upon that color samapatti hi complete absorption and samapatti is again a state so what does this sutra mean we need to understand this properly when the chitta attains the state of kshina vritti means when the vrittis have almost been finished off eliminated then there is complete absorption of the mind into the cognizer the object of cognitions the sense objects and the medium of cognitions the senses resulting in an untainted pure perfect reflection just like a well polished crystal which reflects the color of which so ever object it rests upon such a state is known as samapatti now this is a very interesting state interesting sutra it tells that by the practices which have been spoken of in the last almost 10 sutras the state of yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha ha that we have started moving in that direction 
almost nirodh has happened 60 70 80 90 percent depending when that happens there is a state which is called as shina vritti the vrittis have almost been gone only traces memories of very faint remains are there then there is a complete absorption of the mind there are three things the cognizer something which cognates the object of cognition outside the sense object the medium of cognition the senses all of them they come into a very same state high fidelity so there is no uh, discrepancy over there so there is a complete absorption of all of this into one which results into a complete reflection whatever is uh, the mind sits upon contemplates exactly that is reflected inside how like a well polished crystal you have a diamond now that diamond is a raw diamond it does not reflect then you just cut the diamond into into the proper shape it reflects a little bit but there is some different colors which come in but then you polish it completely when it is polished fully it is made perfect at that time if you place it on a red object it will reflect red color if you put it on a blue object it will reflect blue color and it is as if there is nothing in between that diamond almost does not exist when such a state is reached that state is known as samapatti such is the states of yoga which have to be eventually reached by sadhaks who are serious in the science of yoga oh with this we complete today's prarthana and we dedicate it to swami shivanand ji and to shri ganesh and i am sure all of us will understand will know that this is not easy at least for me i don't feel it is easy i i i won't be able to do all of this i don't know maybe some of you could do it but swami shivanand ji realized after completing the whole process he said once that i have reached that place beyond which there is nothing and after that then he came back in compassion to the people of the world and he brought this knowledge to us like many saints who have done it in the past earlier also <laughs> and he realized that it is not easy for people to do this maybe 5000 years ago the state of mind was different but today the state of mind is different we can't do this so how can we reach that goal which we have been reading about and then in the next week again we are going to go into different types of samadhi which doesn't seem to be likely for us because we can't keep our mind focused for a moment or so that is why he formulated other path which is much simpler but it incorporates the same very principles keeping in mind the limitations of human kind that is the yoga which swami shivanand ji called as the eight fold path for today's times and that is serve love give purify meditate realize and having realized be good do good and be kind be compassionate the eight fold path after realization he says does not stop okay i have realized aham brahmasmi 
job not done then come back be good do good be kind be compassionate that is the ultimate and that is the way we can progress in our life so it is to such a giant personality that we bow on today's occasion of his birthday haryom tatsat namo narayan